I don't think that I don't think that it's a dream, Sandra. I don't think that that is a, it's a dream because the experience that I had with you during the Maitri healing session was the same vividness and the same intensity that I experienced right now earlier. So it's a, what, it's a lucid dream. Yes. Yeah, it's a very lucid dream. So what happened was that um, it was all just black uh, background at first. Then suddenly it got brighter and brighter from the background. There's a light that zoomed in. And then you know that the account that I gave you during the time that we had the Maitri session, Sandra? Mm -hmm. The same the same thing that happened that I saw Mohanji, he's dressed in a white clothing and he's so luminous. He's so luminous that He's the only bright, um, yes, he's the only bright um, thing uh, in my periphery during that time. So uh, when, when I saw Mohanji, suddenly I heard myself from that lucid dream, started chanting Om like, Om. I hummed the Om sound. Then, as soon as I hummed, I chanted the Omkar. The Omkar. You know what? Mohanji is like a magnet. I was pulled instantly towards Mohanji. And then, you know what? Mohanji, I, Mohanji and I merged. Like, oh. The moment that we merged, there was no distinction between Mohanji and Stanley. There was no Mohanji, no Stanley. And then everything became light, white light. Then all, all that can be heard from the background was the, the Omkar, the Om, that continuous Om. It's vibrating. All around, then everything was filled with white, brilliant light. Sandra, mm -hmm. then Mohanji told me, I heard this voice from the dream. He said, Stanley, you are now merging in my consciousness. He said, Stanley, you are now merging in my consciousness. I will begin to work within you now. I will, I will remove all, uh. I will start I will start remove your blockages all your attachments and everything and everything within you um you are now merged with me and I will work with you I will work within you then during that time Sandra you know uh I was conscious uh, I was slowly beginning to, I don't know if wake up or slowly beginning to have um, consciousness already. You know what? I felt like my body in the bed was literally levitating. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's like levitating, Sandra. Like, you know, during the time in the dream, I said, Am I levitating? Am I floating? What's happening? What's happening? And I felt that um, there were things within me that was removed during the time frame. I don't know what, but I can feel it in my body, Sandra. There's a change. Oh, Stanley. Yeah. This, this is, uh, you know, whatever came out of the Maitri, your conversation with Monchi. It's coming to culmination. It's like full circle. Yeah. So you're operating in the body, but now you're not off the body because you're in Manchi's consciousness. You see, I've got tears in my eyes. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <I'm>... Me too. <laughs> yeah, Sandra, you know, you know, uh, during that time, 
like I said, what's happening? Like, but you know, before I woke up, everything became stillness. But I can feel my body was like floating or levitating. I don't know if it's true or what, but it is true because uh, you we have different bodies. We have the physical body, which you this is the body you are in now in terms of your, uh, yeah. you know, manifested reality. Then you yeah. have astral body, which yeah. you can up to a certain level, you can travel in your astral body. But your causal body, you know, is something that <laughs> Manji operated within causal. You have to be yeah. really high to operate. For you to merge into Manji's consciousness takes you there. How, yeah. Not many people can reach this. I don't need to stop crying. I'm so overjoyed. Stanley, it's full circle. You know, it's full circle. I'm, I, I, it's like, I feel like I'm a mother, you know, you're my child. Mm -hmm. And, and it's like, like you come home, you know, and because the OM is the sound that created the universe. Yes. Oh. yes. It's 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 the sound of creation and and um, Monchi also I never ever forget this. Monchi says that the the supreme consciousness is a fe feminine energy. You can't yes. say male or female as in, but a, a very feminine in terms of I would think if we think beyond the body, very loving and very unconditional love. Yeah. And you merged. And who is that? Who has merged Monchi in the physical body? is that already you know I, I have to say that because i can't not this not that i can't even find that word neti, neti. Yeah, yeah. you know like in the vedas you, you can't explain because you you were levitating were you levitating in the body was your body like uh, off the bed or did you feel like your body arose off the bed because that's perfectly possible that your physical yeah, body I came off like, i felt that but uh I that's why I don't know in the dream like you know what I was thinking am I levitating because I can feel that my body was floating like, uh, what is this hey yes yeah, Sandra then when no. I woke up I checked my body like uh, <laughs> yeah like how did it really <laughs> happen or no but um because these things are new to me. I haven't, you know. Stanley, so, it's new to a lot of people. Uh, so many amazing things. So to your beautiful soul is remembering who you are. So what Mochi does is, so each life we we uh, we, we get trapped. We got trapped yeah. in, 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 in oh, with all the blockages. It, it kept us, it made us forget who we are. Yeah. So Mochi is like this burst of illumination and goes and you know he clears i can't even tell you how many hundreds and thousands of lifetime he's like speeds i through my third eye i told you i see it like a like a movie yeah a strip of steroids life i can't process it i i know i was looking my eyes were wide open and i was looking at that so when he comes and he does that he is removing in your causal well i i don't I can't i just feel like in the other sheets, whatever's yeah. been embedded there, in your other sheets, not just, you know, we don't have one sheet. Physical body yes, is yes. just, what she says, not even one tenth of who we are. So all the yes. other sheets that have blockages that have been there a long time that made you forget how beautiful you are. You came as this beautiful, shining white light being yourself to this earth and you, you, you got distracted and the mind whatever mechanism whatever intention it was for wherever that came from to make yeah. us get who we are even joanna joanna has had this very similar dreams the most amazing dreams and she's yeah, starting yeah. to remember just like you i am so blown away i mean i'm so humbled to be part of this exchange you know it's an exchange of energy and it's at soul level because like my I'm overjoyed my heart is like so I can't even I'm running out of words and I told you guys earlier that I had the dream of flying in my physical body that's why yeah. I, I you know do not be fooled by the limitations of the mind the mind will say oh yeah, this yeah. is not possible 
Well, what is possible, Sandy? What is possible? What you think, what you think, and beyond what you think. Beyond. Yeah. The mind is limited to the physical body. Small part. Small, are you going to believe the mind? The, the moment we shift our perception and understand that we are 360 degrees, we're not just like, you know, 10% or 10 degrees, you know, that small percentage. No. Guanji is everything. You and Joanna are having a glimpse of who you really are. And I believe that most people are as beautiful. They just yeah, don't yeah. remember. And, and the moment, in, can you imagine that? The moment mankind awakens, how Would glorious be this earth. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm like, I get so excited just um, thinking, well, I pray for that possibility. I don't see it as a possibility. I know it is it happening. Means, yes. It's I'm, happening. Because you yes. think it, you think it, it's like now all the quantum physics is caught up now. You think it, it's possible, it's done. You know, it's like it's done, it's done. So you you fly in the body, uh, Stan, you fly. In the yeah, body. I, yeah, I know for, with certainty that that really happened. Sandra, because yes. it's not just a dream. I know, I know that I I levitated. <laughs> you did the lightness. I of believe me. you did. Wow, yeah. you did. But it's a big, it's a big leap for you consciously to actually because you you it's on your mind, your intellect. You're such an intellectual. When you write, your intellect shines, and so your intellect helps us helps us to a point yeah. and then you got to step off and dive it's like takes us to the ledge and that dive comes by trusting Manji. yes and you see uh, uh, Sandy I believe what happened in your dream is you've already made the decision you had uh, the, the um, sannyasi um, option uh, given to you which means your highest self your highest yeah. self and you dived without hesitation Stanley, you're a young man. <laughs> what you know is mind-boggling. Who you are and where you have been in this short time with Monchi is beyond people's, most people's perception. And people say, oh my gosh, you're not even Indian. Duh. Sandra, we are beyond body. No. Sandra, beyond mind and everything. You know what, Sandra? Yeah. Uh, it's been many lifetimes. I know I, I'm speaking from the soul level that yes. um, I've left uh, I've left this pass over that I know what my my soul's calling is and this time I won't I won't you know, I will let that manifest now, Sandra, that highest potential. Stanley, we are at an end of an age. There is no time yeah. left. Margie came to make sure that all the souls connect to him over the different yugas. People don't know yeah. Margie. Yeah. <laughs> if they remember, then they'll say, oh, I knew him, you know, at, at, during this yuga or this uh, so many hundred years ago, this lifetime, what nobody remembers Monji except the, the, the darshan, the grace that he gives, he gives you one on one. He's showing each one of us. And the, the glorious thing is Monji is omniscient. That's why I call him Parabrahma, Swarupa yeah. Monji. Omniscient here and everywhere. At the same time, not even our families get that. Not even the people closest to us. Yeah. It, 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 it's like there is such a divide between consciousness, awareness of the people we love and, and who we are. So all we can do is just be ourselves, follow our heart and our soul. Yeah. And know whatever we're doing is is what is right for us. Because we came here for a short time, this short life, we came here for ourselves. It, it's not selfish. It is yeah, here. Yeah. 
are responsible for your own decisions. And, and Moji always believes, he always tells us we get free will. So he gave you that option standing and you took it without yeah. hesitation. That That's shows you stuff. where you are. Where are you? It shows you who you are. Isn't that magnificent, Stanley? My yeah. child. <laughs> you know what, Sandra? You know what, Sandra? <laughs> Joanna and I were talking earlier. I said to Joanna, Joanna, you know what? Since childhood, it's true, Sandra. It's true. Since childhood, I do not have any ambitions. I did not aspire to become like this or to have a career. No. And I even told it... Johanna, during yeah. during my high school days, ma, I was 14 years old at that time, 13. Mm -hmm. I said, I, I recounted to Johanna that I said that I know that in the future, I know that I will not have a family. And I know that I will live a life that is not dedicated to myself, but for the whole of humanity. During that time, I, I thought I was crazy, Sandra, that I was suffering from illusions of grandeur. I, I kept that for many years from my childhood until, until I, I reached college. Because, uh, you know, people have these frames like, you should have an ambition. At least you should have a career. You should you should become like this, like that. Yes. So I, I was in the verge of knowing myself. Like, why? I, I don't have anything at all. Like, I don't want this. I don't want this life. I, I know I have a purpose. And after I achieved that mission or that purpose, this body can get discarded. I told Joanna that. But, you know, during that time, I do not know what exactly was that. It was awareness. You, you, you the, the young man, and you already know, you came aware already, Sandy. And let me, can I tell you a story? Can I tell you a story? If you yes. allow one minute. Yeah, and sure, When sure. it comes to knowing why um, you didn't choose a career path, I, I, let me tell you about me. So I was a straight A student up to grade eight, right? Wow. Yeah. And uh, something happened in grade eight that I can't remember mm -hmm. because it caused a huge shift because if I continued being a, a straight A student, I would have been sitting somewhere with a PhD and, and knowing how I, I love physics, probably somewhere with physics and whatever, um, you know, because I love creating things and creation yeah. and, you know, all these... Uh, I love that. And yeah, and man. biology and all of that. So that's my passion. And come grade eight, Stanley, you Jana. I, my parents moved, bought another house and it was a little bit of a distance away from my school. So I went to stay with my aunt for that um, year, the rest of the year. During that time, my cousin somehow distracted me. I never got to school. And and and, and trust me, I, am, I do not forget things in a hurry. I remember yeah. everything a terrifying memory when it suits me. I do not forget anything. Stanley, Joanna, something happened to me in grade eight and I cannot remember what it was that caused me to not pass grade eight. I had to repeat it. Uh -oh. My mother, my father, they were like, they, I mean, they couldn't understand it. I couldn't, I didn't have an explanation. The teacher was Shot. Yeah, yeah. My IQ, it, you know, my IQ without being egotistic about it was like the highest in the whole grade, you know, the whole grade. Yeah. One of three students, but we were the highest, and there were lots of uh, kids that were tested that year in, in different grades. We had a very big school. Mm -hmm. I was not, um, I had, a, I was a child with so much potential, but yeah. come to that, that losing that grade can't remember what happened to me. The teacher just said, Sandy did not come to school enough. We have to make a repeat the year. Not that I wasn't good enough or whatever. I didn't come to school. I didn't do all the work. That's what he said to my mom. Wow. And I can't remember how many days I stayed away 
And uh, what happened to me? No memory whatsoever. And oh. over the years, I asked myself, how did that shift happen? Why is it I don't remember? And I realized it was a play of the masters in my life. Wow. Because if I continued, if I continued Stanley and Joanna, I would have been sitting there as an intellect completely lost in my intellectual world, not mm -hmm. concerned about spirituality awareness as to where I am. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be where I am right now. You know, so I'm saying to you as a child, you know, as a baby, you as a soul, you come to this life, Stanley, in full remembrance. I can't say that I remembered anything. I was just naughty and, you know, like the typical yeah. <laughs> teenager at that time. I was, you know, I was this child, you know, still spunky and whatever, but, you know, but the point is a shift happens and it's like there's a reason. There's always a greater Leela. There's a greater play. And, and we are taken care of by the masters to come to this point. Because you know what? Yeah. Margie told us, remember, the blueprint is already decided before we yeah. took this life. <laughs> yes, so I mean. Margie even says, what is the destiny? What is faith? What is destiny? Why, why use that word when we, we decided what we wanted? Stanley, yeah. you decided this is it already. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. You decided even that. past lifetimes. Sandra. It's Sandra. It's Sandra. Sandra um, you told me to remember what I was, right? Yes. I I now I now remember it. Oh. Um I I came Sandra from the highest celestial region, but um you know I was sent in this world for each yuga before the start of each yuga to assist the current uh, master of that certain yuga before the beginning yeah, of the Yeah. But this is now my last incarnation. I'm still crying, Stanley. This is so beautiful. So many revelations this past few days. Huh. <laughs> so during the time of of Christ, I was also there, but um, before he he started his mission, I assisted him. Then I left. Who I was that time? Uh, uh, it's an. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I know who that was. So. Those are the purposes of which I was sent for Sandra. But there are times that, you know, I was always lost in Maya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that those blockages were the ones that are now being fixed because mm -hmm. there's no time. Yes, yes, yes. Joanna also, I told her that um, the blockage that I have right now are the promises that I gave to the people that I promised. Uh, uh, there are people whom I helped past incarnation. Uh, I promised to help them. There are many of them. But uh, the only thing that I must do is to fulfill this, their promises in this lifetime. That has to. So shall it be. Mm. Yeah, it's already but, done Sandra. but it's already done Sandra and I know that by the help of Mohanji that um, all of our highest potential all of us you, Joanna and everyone and everyone here in this grand play mm. will reach their highest potential believe it Mohanji's grace mm. we, we Mohanji. think how blessed Joanna how blessed are we to be here? Joanna, you, you must also tell us your story. I mean, uh, Stanley, I, I, you know, you can't reach a point with Stanley where, you know, Stanley is just going, it's just like going up. 
and we are like holding on to coattails because we are starting to remember ourselves. You started to remember. Yes, yes. Mohan, you tell us. Yeah, um, I think it uh, it started uh, last Empowered 5 when I had a um, dream. It was uh, day 6 of Empowered 5. And Mohanji gave me a dream regarding... He, he told me on that dream to that he was giving me a tree gift. And suddenly he shifted. Oh, maybe do you want to know where you came from? And suddenly Mohanji brought me up and we, we traveled up and he showed me where I came from. And then were you in the body or astrally? astrally we we went out of the we went out of the we were talking and Mohanji brought me up, you know, we went to many levels of uh, planes of existence. I don't know which which plane, but we, we were traveling up and then I even look at the earth <laughs> and Mohanji told me not, not to look on the earth, but to look up to continue mm. so we can continue our travel. And then suddenly yeah. he told me that I came from this planet, the planet of love. And then... Yeah. <laughs> We suddenly uh, uh, went back to our to our body, and Mohanji told me that uh, I came from Planet of Love, and I just got I just got uh, stuck here on Earth because I uh, some someone did a water ritual on me. They bind me here, so they can I cannot uh, go back to my home pla planet. And then. Um, after that, uh, few, uh, after that empowered five, of course, uh, the sheer the trip. Mohanji told yeah, me yeah. on my dream that we will going to meet meet sooner than I expected, and the sheer the trip happened. After the sheer the trip, Mohanji told Stanley that we will knew our mission after the sheer D. Yeah, so, back here in the Philippines, and everything changed. You know. Uh, I didn't know that we were, we will be, we will be uh, assisting Mohanji in building the center. Yeah. I, it's a very huge, uh, it's a very huge project, you know, that uh, it's a mind blowing project. And we were tasked to help Mohanji to build his center in the Philippines. And now slowly Mohanji is helping us remember who we, we really are. Yeah, yeah. And, it it was shocking really because i wasn't expecting this you know to do to do this uh mm -hmm. to do this I, I was just want to see mohanji and want yeah. to <laughs> yes <laughs> that's true any any, uh, <laughs> of, any dream of uh, of uh, no and then suddenly i was you know we were stanley and i were, were oh you uh, we were uh, given a mission to fulfill and of course, we were so thankful and we were so grateful that we were uh, had that uh, privilege and gift to you know to to have this uh, to share the the Mohanji to the Philippines and it's uh, but uh, it's still mind blowing and slowly slowly Mohanji is like peeling peeling at the onion skin to reveal who mm -hmm. we are and last time when we had a uh, my three session with you because uh, uh, our friend Sandeep had a very profound experience and I was so shocked because I never had this my, my three experience with everyone. Maybe I should try with Sandra. And then I had a very wonderful experience with you when Mohanji cleared out a lot of a lot of um, Cleared out my chakras. Yeah. He worked on my sacral chakra, and then, uh, and then that's what that's what they want. I I not even I didn't even know that we were already starting. But uh, my body is like uh, I cannot control my body anymore, and I was just closing and um, closing my eyes and just just go with the flow. And suddenly I saw Mohanji. He was working mm -hmm. through me and through my chakra chakras uh he also working on my crown and my body is mm. uh it has it it's so hot it's like i have a fever and all, yes. my, all my like my skins or cell is vibrating so intensely he was working i can really feel he was working on my sacral chakra 
my root and my crown and yeah, yeah, yeah. I the energy going up to my crown and i said oh moaji is already working working through me and then suddenly uh the next day you had another session with me i don't have any experience that time but two but uh like two days ago something happened when um yeah but hold on the other session you went into deep sleep you just don't remember oh. what happened so, so that, that's uh, you know yeah it's it's yeah. a different thing it does mean that it it's just understanding what happened so something happens you just don't remember what it is it's okay it, it will reveal itself as it comes the awareness will is getting uh you know uh higher and higher so the, this the next one was your dream. Oh, when I had the visitation of Mohanji in a, in a dream again, he visited mm. me in here in my punk, my, my here in my house here in Ano, and I told Mohanji that he uh, I invited him to come here to see if my house could be used for a, a office or a center for him, and then he he came, he agreed, and he came and he visited my house. He he sat on the chair here. And um, and uh, and I told Mohanji to to just uh, sit there. I will call someone because someone w wants to meet her. I meet him. It's a it's a Devi. It's like a, a older woman. Then I went to this woman and I told Mohanji is in my house. He's waiting for you. Uh, you need to talk together. Mm. Describe this woman, Joanna. Well, elderly Indian. I'm not sure if she's wearing a sari or a gown because she's attending an event. Mm -hmm. And she, she told me that, okay, I will uh, talk to Mohanji, but I won't, won't stay long because I have an event to attend to. Okay, okay, just a brief conversation with him. And then this lady came, came with me and uh, she's talking on a language that uh, I couldn't understand. And I said, what's that? Oh, it's a, a language from Venus. Mm. And I, oh, I came from Venus. Wow. And then he, she, she just smiled at me. And then suddenly this lady and Mohanji met, met together. And they went out to my house. They were, I, I was, uh, I, I was uh, like five meters away from them. Uh, I, uh, be, to, to give them a space and, uh, you know, to respect their space. They were talking on each other on a on a language that I couldn't understand. It seems like I, it's a different language other than our language here on Earth. Yeah. And they're talking uh, uh, like for a few minutes. And then suddenly this lady, when their conversation was over, this lady came to me and she told me that you are so lucky. You, you have Mohanji as your guru and guide and that you are so close to him now never leave your guru no matter what and she, wow. she and then i was uh no, mohanji was already uh walking uh toward out you know we were walking and then suddenly people were were um were when they knew that mohanji is there people are crowding him already and suddenly mohanji shifted into something and she I, I couldn't uh, remember the face, but she Mohanji, Mohanji had the tran, trance, trance meaning he he went into into a trance, and suddenly people are touching him, and I told the people, no, don't touch him, let Mohanji touch you, but don't uh, go near Mohanji, just just let him uh, touch you when <laughs> you're ready. And then right. we we're sitting on a lotus position. We went all uh, when Mohanji started the trance. Uh, the trans we seated mm -hmm. and then Mohanji was just a uh, 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 going to the person you know his head touching their bodies and then suddenly he when uh, when we were sitting there suddenly he he came to me in front of me and his his eyes like it's bright so bright inside it's not outside it became so bright so white. And then he pointed his uh, his uh, index finger on my uh, uh, navel, and suddenly oh, yeah. uh, got it's like a there's a strong surge of electricity in my body, and I saw my uh, shushumna channel or the channel 
light up so and he he removes the blockages there the debris i can really feel when he touched my my yeah. bed and all the debris came out because it's so powerful it, the energy surge surge up to the cosmos to the infinite wow yeah i can really feel oh. that was, the oh. that's and amazing oh. after that after that Mohanji got up and he left already. And then I woke up. That's when I woke up. And uh, I, I can still feel my belly button. Then the, 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 the energy there, it's so strong. And mm -hmm. all my chakras were like, wow, it's so, it's so, uh, it's something, uh, an energy shift in me. I can really feel it. And I told Stanley, what? Stanley. Can you do some aura, aura, aura reading on me? Please, I can feel yeah. something, and I uh, yeah. And, and <laughs> Stanley told me, tell us Stanley what you saw. <laughs> oh, uh, I saw when when Joanna told me to to view view him as through view her astrally I'm just just joking joking you know ah just stanley can you yeah the first time i the first thing i saw was you know i saw johanna's johanna's uh, pa paano kaya explain sa kanya na uh, i saw johanna's um true form the the form mm -hmm. of her soul before uh, maybe it's her first incarnation. I saw a very beautiful lady that's wearing, she's wearing a, a nice necklace. Then she's standing on a big shell. Mm -hmm. And then there's water energy. Sandra, I can feel the coolness of the water. You know, like, wow. Wow. That's so powerful, yes, Sandra. But then, um, out of respect for that being, mm -hmm. I did not um further um, uh, what do you call this? I did not further look, yeah, intrude. yeah, look at look yeah. onto yeah, as a respect. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, I just scanned uh Joanna's astral sheets. Mm -hmm. Then, you know what? The first thing that I saw. In Joanna was her navel chakra is shining with very luminous bright white light. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then she's yeah. surrounded by this electric blue energy. That's oh, energy is blue. That's oh my very gosh. powerful electric blue energy, Sandra. Mm -hmm. And it's shining all around her aura. Mm -hmm. And, and I mean, I, I did see, I'm in a lot of tears. You know, it's so, yeah. I'm in a lot of tears. My heart is just overflowing. Yeah. And I remember it's, the dream that I, I had previously with Mohanji when he told, he told me that uh, I got stuck here with water ritual. And sacral chakra is a water element chakra. And that's where mm -hmm. I found out, I, I had just, just into uh, after that i had an intuition that i was i uh, know they did a water binding ritual on me on my sacral chakra that's oh, what to keep me here. helped me to oh. clear that that binding that's been binding me here oh uh stanley i told stanley oh stanley now i know why why uh mohanji mohanji did that to me that on my navel because out of all the chakras why is it that Mohanji gave attention mm -hmm. to my sacral chakra. Why is it mm -hmm. that he could, uh, you know, point at my heart chakra? You know, it's a higher yeah, yeah, yeah. Higher third eye or crown. Why is it that he yeah. he, he pointed at my uh, sacral chakra? And then I remember my previous dream when he said that I was binded here because of a water ritual. And uh, it was... On my side, sacral chakra, they did a ritual so that I could, I could, uh, I won't go yeah. back to my home planet. They bind me here through my sacral chakra. And that's what Mohanji released, you know, he released that, he released me from my binding here. Yeah. From your trap. 
you were trapped on earth, mm-hmm. Jana, trapped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, uh, I think what's being revealed is um, that you are a super being like Stanley. You know, you are, you are highly evolved beings well, that have been uh, on this earth. Stanley came for um, his reasons, you know, to help the avatar, the, 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 the current avatar that's um, Stanley, you know, that's your purpose, your higher purpose to come to this planet. But Joanna, however and whoever done that, only Monji knows yeah. that what he did was undo. He he released you from the trap. So my goodness, talking about levitation and flying, YouTube, <laughs> you can do anything at will, you know, and travel in your astral bodies and see things. And, you know, that's part of the awakening. This does not make you, um, you know, in, in human terms, you know, people say, oh, magician, this magician. It's all oh. distorted in, in words, words. Words mean nothing. But let me mm-hmm. tell you this. Who we are is even more fantastic than yeah. what we can even imagine. Okay. Fantastic. Like out of this world. It, we are greater than we think we are. And you too, I'm honored and humbled to call you my family. You know, you you are realizing who you are. You know, yeah, you're are waking all, up. Yeah, I'm. We are all uh, the same. You know, we are all uh, on the on on that road of awakening, and we were unfolding. You know, our true our true nature, our true self, with Mohanji's help, and. Uh, I told Stanley we were so lucky we have Mohanji and uh, yeah and uh, he's, he's a great blessing. We're not we're not talking uh this out of our ego, but yeah, all the truth you know it's Mohanji's yeah. Mohanji's grace and and light that we were experiencing this, and I hope that uh, mm. you know everybody could experience this. Yeah, life. it's true. And you too didn't have money to go to Philip to from the Philippines to ship yeah. you know especially you two right and uh, what happened the the what happened was merely grace in action yeah and that happens when we are flowing when we set a higher intention when we are beyond you know we are not caught up by our ego and mm-hmm. you know uh, nothing to prove to anyone you yeah. are doing following your heart. And what does Manji do? Manji melts. You give him one step. He takes 1,000 steps to, to you. Yeah. You open your heart. You hold your hand like this. Manji grabs you like this. Yeah. You know, the thing is, Manji is always holding us. It is our mind that makes us believe that Manji is not with us. Yeah. Manji is omniscient. 360 degree presence. What tells us Manji is not with us? Or why do we cry? Why do we feel alone? Why do we feel like, you know, uh, things are bad in our lives? No, 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 no. Manji is with us and makes everything manageable. Imagine the grace that is already flowing in our lives. You two are remembering your, 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 your true status as in beyond this body it's a big deal people will not misjudge you because they know and felt you too right and and they read your experiences to in shifting mm-hmm. you know and people people re- know and recognize sincerity and truth nobody is foolish anymore mm-hmm. gone are the days when people are you know uh um, and you do get suspicious minds, you know, highly yeah. uh, suspicious minds will say, oh, but if, let it be their problem. If they're not ready to see who you are, it's okay. Yeah. This is between Manji and you. Mm-hmm. When you die, no one else matters. No, don't get, don't get sidetracked yeah. by, it doesn't matter the relation with all due respect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even me too it's 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 a big thing you know you grow up thinking in your life your family is everything mm-hmm. yes 
we chose our families, didn't we? Mm -hmm. But we also made our decisions mm -hmm. to evolve. We, you, when we meet at Living Avatar, Sandy and Jana, we don't want to miss that moment, isn't it? Yeah. We, don't, we won't miss that moment. Because why, Stanley? We are aware of who we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Especially you're remembering that we are experiencing Mohanji's grace and uh, presence within us. You know, it's not, yeah. we're not daydreaming. We are yeah, this is not. <laughs> This is not an imagination or delusion, Sandra. A we're transforming into something that we cannot even, uh, even comprehend. Uh, comprehend even before, you know. Yeah. Who I am now is different from who I am mm -hmm. last year. It's not the same anymore. And it's because of Mohanji, you know, Mohanji's presence in our life. And Mohanji really wants us to just love him and uh, yeah. surrender to him and uh, forget all our, our attachment and material things and just hold hold on to him he even asked us to practice this practice that just to just to just hold on to moanji that's what yes. he's really asking now for us and that's what we're yeah. in in simple words it's trust moanji because why not because someone else is telling you to do that you believe your own experiences. Your yeah. own experiences takes you to where truth is. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to believe other people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So how can you expect other people to understand what's happening? Because whatever is happening to you and Stanley, Joanna, is happening so fast. Yeah. It's like a great <laughs> remembrance. Yeah. There's onion peel that you mentioned earlier. Mochi's doing it at super speed. <laughs> yeah. That's but, true, Sandra. You know, no time to process. You know, sometimes we just got shot. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then, <laughs> Sandra, you know what? I told Joanna earlier that uh, even last night, I said, you know what? Mohanji is uh, getting things fall into place already. We just need to witness it. Mm -hmm. We don't even need to, you know, to do yeah. to exert effort or act because, yeah. you know, you just witness and then, yeah, you participate in it. But, you yeah. know, there's no ownership already because you just see things, you witness them because they're happening at a very spontaneous um, level, on a spontaneous level. And yeah, you said the key word, spontaneity. Yeah. The key word. Yeah. That comes with trust. Sorry, Stanley, do go on. Yeah, then I told Joanna earlier, you know, I told Joanna earlier na, uh, you know what, uh, Joanna, uh, I was laughing earlier because I remembered Sandra that uh, during September last year, when I had this deep crisis, I underwent uh, intense purging during that time. Before being in contact with SRF and before meeting Mohanji, um, I had this deep crisis during that time. Then like, I don't know what, what will do with my life already, what will happen or what. Then you know what? I, I just said jokingly, just jokingly. I don't know if, if that's a premonition or it's just mm -hmm. something that I told myself, okay, uh, I just, uh, I, I guess that I just need to meet my guru and to be initiated into Kriya Yoga. Then after that, uh, I will I will just live in a simple hut or cabin and I will just go out to serve humanity then go and seclude then that's it then you know what <laughs> Joanna I laugh because Joanna and I were talking about being san, uh, you know what being sannyasi like uh, 
Joanna is also undergoing that process that she wants to really, you know, seclude and renounce. Like, you know what? These things, these things were just, uh, we're just thinking about it before. But you know what? It's now being, you know what? It, it's being a reality now. <laughs> Yeah, we, we we're not even uh, dreaming about it. This like you know, we're not even thinking about this. But oh wow, Stanley, it's already happening, and maybe uh, we just need to watch it and you know, be 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 uh, be be an observant to all of this. You know, because it's if you think about it, it will get you. It's crazy, but uh, we were. <laughs> You know, it's really a you know, mind-blowing experience and the maybe the best thing really is to just watch it, you know, observe yeah. everything, yeah. witness it, and just be grateful so that we're experiencing this. And yeah. it, it, May I just humbly say that what you two are experiencing is unique and profound and you are shifting to your original state you know it's it's like you you're also coming full circle you know manji is actually bringing you to your uh, to your original state you know that tells you something i mean you do you think all this will be happening if we're living in just normal times you know our vedas say this is an end of an age time yeah. is up for what not just for, for subtle awareness. Time is up for all humans, all beings on the planet. Yes. Something big is coming on our earth. And I always say that. I, I In fact, I don't uh, write out a dialogue and read it. I speak my, my truth. Mm -hmm. and, and whether that's accepted or not, it's not important to me. Mm -hmm. I speak my truth. Mm -hmm. I feel a huge change is coming on the planet yes, and yes. people who are not ready will miss the train yes. margie's like pulling out all the stops trying to reach people and not just margie you would find you know other uh, um, you know uh, gifted or, or sainted beings on the earth there are a handful of them on the earth they are working as hard yes you yes. know with people around the world and you see that we are a global organization touching so many hundreds and thousands of lives. Mm -hmm. So the MCBs are going to come up and touch even more lives. There's a reason why Monji actually wants the MCBs to be present. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal because it'll, it's not just to give us a space and to go there and, you know, go for a holiday. It's not just that. Sorry. It is because of the shift on the earth. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Joanna, what did you say? A refuge. It's going to be a refuge place soon. And yes. I hope that, uh, people can realize that something is happening globally and to get ready, not physically, but spiritually, because that's the only way that we could uh, uh, traverse this uh event that's going to happen to humanity and now much is assisting us so that we can we can be stable and uh you know be oh. in presence you know while while uh, the incoming changes will, will you know because it's really true there's a big, big yeah there's a big shift soon yeah yes a thought just came a thought that came the, the thought is that's why you and Stanley are shifting so dramatically, not just for yourselves, but mm -hmm. to, as an example to others about what is coming for them. Mm -hmm. yes. that, I would be humbled and appreciative if you too would make this known. Mm -hmm. yeah. and this is also so what you feel earlier. Stanley, we don't have time anymore. We were given yeah. a choice to either pursue material or spiritual. We ha we cannot choose both sides anymore. Just yeah. one, which is what we choose the spiritual life. That's why Mohanji he, he gave us a chance to choose, 
And then when we choose the spiritual path, he unfolds us, you know, he, he, he truly is. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what it is now for you in standing? It is not just choosing um, a materialistic part or a spiritual part. Yeah. We are embodiments of consciousness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you choose, when you chose consciousness mm -hmm. as, as out of awareness, mm -hmm. that means that you weren't in that trap any longer. Yeah. He released you from that yeah. trap. You're no longer trapped. You yeah. are free. Remember yeah. I told you I had a vision of flying in my body. Mm -hmm. Sandy, I, I think I mentioned that to you too. I flew yeah, yeah. in my body straight, and, I, and I, all I, I didn't want to go around the earth and go visit, you know, all the, uh, you know, the, the great wonders of the earth. No, I went straight up into the universe. And as I reached upper Earth's orbit, the uh, satellites or whatever debris that's flying around at high speeds, I nearly hit one. Boom! I just felt the speed of this big object coming. And because I was in my body, I just like skidded to a halt, in, you know, in midair, you know, before I could hit it. And then I thought, uh oh. <laughs> and then I realized, goodness, I can't pass there without getting injured. So mm -hmm. are we coming to an end of time, Rana? Are we no. coming to an end of time? No, no, we still have more time. It's unlimited. So it's okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. So what I did was I, I went down in my body, it went down slowly, but I had a feeling of being trapped thinking I can't leave the earth. So that's why I, I understand um, the, the, your um, ethereal being, who you are, Joanna. You know, you, you come from a different uh, dimension or a different planet. Where does Venus exist on this uh, dimension? Or, an, uh, or does it exist in our universe or a different dimension? Stanley, could you tell where sure. Joanna is from? Yeah. China? I think different uh, dimension. Yeah, it's different dimension. And Sandra, there are um also clairvoyant accounts that um most goddesses or devis came from Venus. They are Venusian like Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So it's mostly female. Uh, what are you saying? Was no, so, uh, males don't come from Venus? No, they came. Uh, there's also ma ma male uh, Venusians. It's not just limited. Okay. To, but there, so someone their, their, their their consciousness is motherly, like ah. it's built on a feminine energy um, mm -hmm. operation. Love. That motherly, okay. yeah, consciousness, yes. Okay. So they, it's called the planet of love. Is, yeah. is that the same thing we're yeah. talking about? Because it, it, uh, he called, uh, he, uh, based on my dream, I came from planet of love. And, uh, hmm. and uh, yeah, that's what he said. But, you know, he's still, it's still unfolding, everything. So hopefully soon everything will get clear, you know. Uh, we will, uh, it will. Yeah, Muhanji will, uh, will only get here. Yes. Yeah. And it's through Muhanji's grace, you know, uh, it's really, uh, I'm so thankful to Muhanji. Uh, you also had another vision, Jana, about um, I know that you are in your sadhana for my three, but you had a, a vision of your home in the future. Yeah. Uh, want to share that, or do you want to talk about it some other time? Part of the it's part of also when Mohanji came here to visit me, I mm -hmm. asked Mohanji if he can, uh, if he, uh, if we, uh, in that dream, if that that dream last two days ago, I asked Mohanji if he can check my house to see if it's fit, it fits for uh, Mohanji Center, and I remember. Uh, when we had the meeting with Mohanji at Bangalore in uh, last December 31, he said that I could open my space for healing for my mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, and, uh, and you are training as a Maitri healer at the moment. You are in your sadhana. You haven't, yeah. Yeah. Currently, I'm on my sadhana. And that's why I applied for Maitri because actually I don't have any desire to do the Maitri, but it's uh, Mohanji's... Uh, uh, 
Yeah, he told me last December 31, maybe you could uh, no, do the Maitri already. And I said, oh. Manji, I'll do oh. it. Yeah. That directive came from Manji and that too in the physical body. So, you know, you know, whether you see him astrally or physically, you, you've had it all. Yes, <laughs> you eat him astrally, physically, even probably in the causal body, but, you know, that's, that's a sancti, sacred space causal. So, um, my goodness. So there is a lot coming yes. out of you, Joanna. I, I am so humbled Thank to be you. part of this. So, uh, it's like, so beautiful. Like uh, I said earlier to you too, that we're all in this. We we have this ability that uh, we can yeah. unlock ourselves as long as we were we would sur surrender ourselves to our guru and trust him. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not special. You know the key. We are all the same. We had the same. You know. Yeah. We they can experience our experience too. It's just that, absolutely. Uh, maybe the reason why we're why we are, we're experiencing this is because mm -hmm. we already move away from the material uh you know our desires it's not in material anymore we shifted into spiritual yes Slowly recognizing that uh life here on earth is not the real uh real yeah. source of you know not yes. the real source of happiness yeah. and we have a spiritual life and we decide yeah, yeah. we will follow the spiritual path with Mohanji. And, and let me just tell you both of this, that the purer the channel is, the more uh, purely or oh, how, uh, the more uh, Mohanji can come through or manifest through you. If we're not as pure, Mohanji cannot, because we become a conduit like in Maitri, you, you become essentially a conduit for Manji's energy. As I always say, it is not me that's doing any healing. I'm just holding space. That's what a healer yeah, does. Yeah. But when you hold that space, you have to be a pure channel yourself. So no expectations, nothing. You just be there and know it is Manji who comes. And if, if there's any ego, oh, I'm born with all these cities and Everybody's born with these cities. Whether they are aware of it or whether they're using it is depends on them. How much their mind brings them to realization. Because if we're operating at a low frequency, we would not realize all our operating potential because each chakra, you know, we have different cities. We have like, I think 30 um, minor, major cities and 38 Minus major and minor cities. I know it's a lot. I, can't, I don't even know those numbers, but it's a lot. Lord Hanuman could fly with his body and he still does. He has not died. He's immortal. He's still on earth. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yeah. Lord Hanuman. Yeah. And people think he's just a myth. Yeah. Let me tell you, I've experienced Lord Hanuman. Wow. He's yeah. not a myth. Maji is not a myth. Maji is not just a person that walks. Um, you know, um, or rides a bike or, or, the, or looks cool on a bike and then puts on his guru outfit, then he's a guru. No. Mochi is just, those are just roles. He's just being himself. Who is Manji consciously is why we need to be, um, you know, uh, uh, we need to be aware of that. Mm -hmm. His conscious presence. Don't worry about the roles. That's why people don't even accept avatars. They don't recognize them. They say, oh, don't follow a guru. Who was a Shufi Sai Baba? Who was Lord Ram? I mean, they, people didn't even recognize them until they died, yeah. you know, and became... Because Lord, Lord Ram wasn't just a king. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was Parabrahma, Supreme yeah. Consciousness. In human form. So let us, I, I'm so glad we, we don't forget Manji for who he is. He is we recognize him. That people will stick to Muhanji and do whatever they can to, you know, really uh, hold him, hold on to him. You know, my prayers now, really, it's not, oh, I want liberation. No, my prayers now is to stick to Muhanji at all times, you know, not to debate anymore. Because, yeah. yes. Enlightenment, liberation, it will come as long as we stick to our guru. So my prayer, you know, 
every one of, of us here or Stanley, Sandra, and or anyone who could listen to the, to he to this, that that's to stick with Mohanji, not to leave our guru. He's very, very powerful. He's very he can really liberate us as long as we surrender. He, he is liberating you mm -hmm. too. In fact, I believe you two are already there. And so now are you just remember. And so are you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I can't remember much. I think obviously there's a reason why Monji prevents me from remembering everything because, you know, there are things that I have to do to, to reach the point where I can be freed from my own, you know, um, an entanglement, so to speak. But there are things that I have to do still. I guess when I remember, I wouldn't want to even be here or complete it. Yeah. So there's yeah. a for each one of us. Yeah. You think you'd want to stay here if you know you could fly. My goodness, Sandy, you say, Sandy, I'll meet you on the moon. You know, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> with the picnic. You know, we never know. Yeah. <laughs> Anything is possible. So, I mean, it, it is not, you notice, we're not confined to the planet anymore. Mm -hmm. So even in our thinking, that shift has happened. Mm -hmm. Think about that. We're not thinking about, oh, gosh, uh, let's meet in uh, at the, the base of the Great P Pyramid or Giza or something like that, you know, or, or go to uh, some holy site in India, you know, one of the, you know, should go to Shirdi for a game or walk around Arunachala, you know, like we, we're not saying only those, we're saying now that the whole universe has become real, but also, there's a greater, di it's a dimension. It's that too, that, you know, it's like infinity is accessible. Mm -hmm. You might not process that infinity. You can't quantify that, you know. So I am so happy, beyond happy, overjoyed for both you and Stanley, China, both of you. You you are part of this too because your Maitri is really helping us. Yeah, you know? Chandra, uh, we thank you also for being an instrument because everything that Mohanji revealed, uh, uh, you know, it came from the session that we had. With you, yeah. With you, yeah. Okay. And also, really... <laughs> Like what Joanna and I were talking about earlier, the it was during that my three session with uh, with you that Mohanji told me that uh, as soon as you step in Shirdi, everything will change, your fate will change, mm -hmm. and it and, has, and it it is happening now. The thing that the you know all that happened during the Maitri session with you, Sandra. It's happening now because it's Mohanji. It, it, all, all I do is understand. I understand that I am just a humble thread. Yeah. Because I, oh, when I think of Monji, I don't even think about holding Monji's feet. Can I be yeah. honest with you? I don't think about touching Monji. All I say in my mind to Monji is. I am the dust beneath your feet. It's like you, you do, it's quite natural to reduce yourself to pure insignificance yeah. because I, my, I, again, my, I, words. Mm -hmm. We know it's not ego based, but it's a means of expression. You yeah. understand that? No mm -hmm. ego. So you open yourself and you do my three, you know, deep down, I know that it's Monji, the doer. And I'm just humbled to be that little part of it that allows that connection to happen. Because it comes from free will. That's where my role is. Because if you decide that, yeah, I always ask you, you have to give permission for, for my tree to happen. You have to say yes. You have to say, uh, you know, and agree to all the, the you know, these uh, uh, understanding that when Monji comes, you've got to call him, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what Maitri is, his grace. And you tell him you're ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know what? Both you and Stanley, I know from my heart, you have awakened mm -hmm. and you already know who Monji is. 
and you trust Mauli, there is no doubt. So my heart chakra has gone hot. <laughs> no, wow. doubt, no more, no more second thoughts or what. It's just knowing, knowing. So, yes. And, and, and it, it, days are going to become even more exciting because you start to remember. Remember, it's like, you know, all the shades, Manji says, all the veils, all the curtains that blocked out the sun. And then you see yourself, Stanley, you see yourself in that. Remember the reflection in the water that you had during the Maitri with Manji. Yeah. Manji showed you your reflection. You said, my Manji, show me my true form. And you saw this glorious, beautiful being of light yeah. in the water who was shining with such immense luminosity yeah. that you were like mind boggled looking at that reflection and understanding is that really me yes yeah, 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 that yeah, is yeah. you remember yeah you are remembering mm -hmm. Margie came to say Stanley time to wake up Joanna time to wake up I need my warriors I need you here now People, humanity needs you. You, This calling and this life is to help the living avatar. There's a great shift going on, coming, happening already, but there's a culmination. There'll be a period where this will come, where, you know, major changes terrestrially. I mean, uh, Stanley, I know you haven't spoken about it, but I do feel people also need to know about your yeah. experiences. With Sandra. Sage Agastya, please. Yeah. Sandra, um, I'm going to write about from the no, I'm going to write about it. Um, from what happened before the Shirdi trip, how everything came into, how everything came before meeting Mohanji, because mm -hmm. that's an order. I I need to write it down. Okay, so please. Because including this the sheer is detail. revelation time. Yeah. Revelation time. People need this information to wake up because they also weighed down by doubts. They they have yet to have the experiences you two are having. Please help them. Yeah. Make that information. And Chandra, available. You know what? Um the saga is still ongoing. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the completion of this saga will go when the MCB is already established because I told Joanna that uh uh Joanna uh, during during the plane during the time when the plane landed Joanna remembered it that Say Chagascha connected with me and Joanna felt that strong connection like Stanley what was that what was that <laughs> yeah <laughs> what was what, what's that energy is that a master then I told Joanna I told Joanna Joanna, Joanna that Say Chagascha you know what? uh Say Chagascha told me that uh your journey has only yet about to begin to begin now that you've landed here in your home in your country mm. yeah uh, i will yeah and he told me that i will not speak with you until march he he gave me a, he gave me until march and i told joanna yeah i told joanna remember what sage agastya told me at the airplane that he will not speak with us from january January and then he will continue he will guide us again when March comes and tomorrow it is it it tomorrow yeah <laughs> and I can you know what earlier when we were talking about it I felt his presence again after two months yeah. and Joanna I, I'm not telling Joanna that he connected with you oh, oh my Stanley I can feel my solar plexus again <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I told Joanna, you know, that's how Agas Jamuni manifests. He is, um, that's how he is. He really makes his presence felt. Mm -hmm. 
And can you remember, he came before Lord Dattatreya, Sage yeah, Augustine. Yeah. It's ancient. Mm -hmm. That means how far? Which you guys are standing? Do you know? Sage yeah. Augustine comes from yeah. Africa. He is, uh, he is the son of um, Deva uh, Varuna. The god of water? L yeah, yeah. Lord Varuna? Yeah. He's... Is he the lord of the water elements? Yeah, and also he, 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 his twin oh, no. brother is Sage Vasista. Oh, Vasista. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, I my just God. read it earlier because Joanna posted about him yeah. earlier. Yeah. Wow. I, wow. I, I, I saw it when I, when I saw it. Wow, he's really that, I uh, know, he's really that, um, he's really that ancient. I like, He's timeless. And until now, you know, he's working. And yeah, he's working. I will tell this with conviction. Oh. Maha Chakras is humming with energy. Uh, Sandra, I will tell this with conviction. He and his, and his um, group of Siddhas, because he's the leader of all the Siddhas, they want to work with the Philippines right now in this yuga. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm telling it with conviction for the fourth or fifth time. But, but, uh, Noel um, mentioned in his <coughs> testimony that... Are you Excuse okay? Me. Yeah. Excuse um, me. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but I wanted to tell you this. Noel mentioned that the Philippines is the heart of the world. Yeah. And you realize that when you're giving your testimony in Shifti, people, in fact, I was just crying. My heart chakra just poured open. People were crying. The lady that I could see on, on the internet on, on the, in Little Pink Shirt, she was sobbing, sobbing. Mm. And I looked at her and I was just crying. And uh, you're open with your truth being as profound as it is. It opened up people's heart chakra. That's why the Philippines, like Noel says, is the heart of the world, heart chakra of the world. When you're ready to speak about what Lord Augustia, uh, Sage Augustia told you um, about the Philippines and your experiences, it's going to be another mind-blowing revelation. So, yes. Sandra, when you're ready, standing. Yeah, so, because uh, it's still ongoing. The saga is still ongoing. And um, he told me that uh, to chronicle it, but until further, further progression, Sandra, because there are many things to unfold. Yes. Uh, there are... Yes. Many wow. things, and you know what they it's want. Been... They want Mohanji uh, because Mohanji is their son. Mm -hmm. They they said that Mohanji is the son of the tradition. Oh. The Siddhas love Mohanji. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow! Can you imagine how blessed we are? We're so blessed yeah. that yeah. Mohanji is in our life. You know, I don't know. I, I now feel like crying again. Oh my gosh, I never cried so much. So, <laughs> so you know, uh, so, hmm? so many revelations. Yeah. And it's just, you know, our story. How much more the other yeah. That's right, Joanna. It is just the story of Joanna and Stanley, you know, from the Philippines. Imagine. If, 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 if this is going to be the precedent, that this is what's going to happen from all the others from around the world. You will start the ball rolling. Your hearts and your compassion would be the opens the big door that has kept people trapped in their minds. And when the door gets opened, that beautiful shining form is released. Yes, you know. Yes. Mankind comes into their true truth, who they are, yeah. so big. 
this is bigger than big, bigger than our minds, bigger than we can fathom. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter who's ready, who's not. Mm -hmm. Just hold on to Manji. Because I always say, we hold on tight, we are going fast. Mm -hmm. I yeah. get the impression that we are traveling at, I, I can't even quantify the speed. Yes. I can't give a number. I can't even, we're going so fast, yes. faster than anything yeah. that has been invented. <laughs> I remember Stanley just joined us last October. You know, Stanley. Oh, Stanley, he just joined us last October when I invited him, you know, Power of Purity. He doesn't know what's going on. And I just told yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a, it's not about time, you know. It's not about time. How ready you are. You know what, uh, Joanna, Sandra, We've all been together and Mohanji, all of us, we've been together for endless times. Mm -hmm. I know, I know from a fact that yes. And it just reached to the point where it it became this meeting became so crucial. Mm -hmm. Because we are at the point in time where uh, you know, as you've said, Sandra. Something big is about to happen to the whole you in should be. Huh? Did he say six months? Will Monchi say something about six months to Joanna in Shirti? No, in, no, no, in Bangalore. In Bangalore. In Bangalore. Yeah. Six months, the the Mohanji Center, Philippines, the registration, the land. Everything. <laughs> so I hope Wait. it's happening fast. January, February, March, April, May, June. Mm -hmm. So four months. There, there is um four months. Four months. Yeah, ahead. Uh, we're so and too, Sandra. We're so thankful to you because you're recognizing us. You know, uh, because. You, you recognize us for who we truly are, and yeah. you, you open our eyes and heart to who we 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 really are. You help us. It's like you're our fairy godmother, you know. <laughs> I told Stanley that oh, it's like our fairy godmother because uh, you know always we always sought your advice. You always sought your your opinions on spiritual and and you know other other uh practical advice you know? <laughs> so everything is monji's grace everything is monji's grace um, I, it, it, it's it's our relationships monji says we're all connected to each other and like stanley so rightly said we are all starting to remember we're going to pick up all these contacts and, and mochi works through us so if you mm -hmm. keep yourself pure where you have no ego well we, there is always ego you know but keep it in check you know to understand that you've got mm -hmm. to empty yourself you're going to reach a place of stillness the key is the stillness because when you are in stillness like standy um uh, experience yeah. You know, Jana, you would also be in that place. You know you are with cosmic energy, which is Manji in its true form. Not many people can actually um, manage or um, merge with Manji's energy at his, in his true form. We are still all in different various levels of, of um, growing. Isn't that amazing? Uh, yeah. What's beautiful is that it's not, we're progressing, you know, as we go on to this, you're, we're all growing and progressing with Muanji. There's no yeah. end game. Yeah, we're, we're, we're unfolding uh, yeah. to, to, to who we really are. And it's beautiful. Yeah. And we're sharing this to you because I know that it will happen. Ha will all happen to us too, you know, to everyone also that's going yes. to. Well, this is going to be so exciting. Can't wait. Uh, please have a beautiful day. I love you too very much. Yes. And keep flying, keep flying. Come visit me sometime. 
Uh, yes. <laughs> Let's see each other on your we're, we're multi-dimensional, Sandra. <laughs> we'll pick you up. And I'm not kidding. I really mean that. Come and visit me. Visit Fly us. with your body. Yeah. Visit yeah. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Love you too very yeah. much. Thank yeah, you. thank you, Sandra. Love you likewise. Love you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. With my heart. Jai Mohanji. Jai Mohanji. Jai Mohanji. Jai Mohanji. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Bye-bye.